two-step quantity takeoff with ID8 BIMLINK for Revit. The help file in ID8 BIMLINK includes a how-to section that covers many of our frequently asked questions. Changes included in the April 2014 release include support of pivot tables, which is an integral part of doing this quantity takeoff. As you can see from the help file, along with step-by-step -step instructions, we are including a template file that you can use to expedite the creation of a formatted quantity takeoff. This file is set up to receive the raw data from BIMLINK on the first tab, while the second tab displays the summary data via the use of a pivot table. Before we begin, we should make a copy of this file for our own use. The first of the two steps in this process is to load the sample link called Construction QTO, as shown here. Depending upon your file, you may want to modify the pre-selected categories. The file that I'm using here, for example, has only MEP elements, so I'll need to select those categories before I can export. The second step is to export the data to the copy of that sample file that we made earlier. BIMLINK lets us overwrite the original sample data with our own information. In this example, the original Excel data referred to a sample architectural project with doors and columns. Now we're overwriting that data completely with our MEP data. As we open the Excel file, we can see the proof of this with the error terminals now listed at the top instead of the casework that we saw earlier. As we toggle to the Summary tab, you will notice that the pivot table data is still reflecting the old raw data from the architectural project. All we need to do is use this Refresh button to update how the pivot table reads from the first tab. So that's it. Comprehensive quantity takeoff data in two easy steps. Learn more about ID8 BIMLINK at id8software.com.